Hi, it's Mr. H, and today we're going to work on line two of the level six rhythms. First, I'll demonstrate. Ready, go. Ta 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 mm mm ta 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 mm mm ta ta If you're able to follow along with that, go ahead and try it yourself. Don't forget to play it on one note. And if you'd like more help, keep watching this video. We'll go over it one measure at a time. Let's start with line uh, measure one. So we need to mark our downbeats. There's four beats in a measure. We're in 4-4 four, four time. Half a note gets two beats. And then don't forget there are also upbeats. So the second eighth note is on an up. And the part that may be throwing you off is that there are upbeats in the quarter notes and half notes also. So even though a quarter note, for example, gets one beat, it has a down and an up. So it's going to start seeming like there might be two beats in a quarter note. And then same thing for the half note. There's two downs in the half note, but if you add the downs and the ups, two, three, four, there's four downs and ups. And so it may seem like there's four beats to the half note. Remember, there's we're talking about a down beat and then also the up beat. So a quarter note is still one count and a half note is still two counts, but we're keeping track of the up beats now. This measure uh, will go like this. Ta, 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 ta. And if we put our metronome on, we'll go like this. Ready? Go. Ta 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 ta. If you need to practice that on your own, go ahead. You can pause the video. In the meantime, we'll go ahead and look at measure two. So, once again, we want to identify our downbeats. And there are two beats and a half note. If we just did it like this, without thinking of the eighth notes, it again it may seem easier. Uh, ta 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 ta. So what's potentially confusing it for you, but is also important to understand, is the upbeats. So the second eighth note happens when your finger is moving up and then the half note is made of two quarter notes and that would be four eighth notes all together. So with the down and ups, ta 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 and with the metronome, ready, go. Ta 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 you need to take a closer look at that, go ahead on your own. We'll go ahead and, and look at the third measure now. Once again, this is mostly review. We have the two eighth note rests here, and if you remember, it's the same as two eighth notes except it's just mm, mm So it's counted the same way. We have a down for the first eighth note, and then that quarter note's down, that quarter note's the down, and that quarter note's a down beat. And of course, the two quarter notes here are the same as a half note. The second eighth rest would be on an up, the quarter note has both a down and an up in it, and both of these quarter notes have a down and up in it. So once again, hopefully you can see how a half note has four eighth notes in it, or four down ups. 
if we were to do this, it would go like this. Ready, begin. Mm-mm, ta, ta. And if we tried it with the metronome, ready, go. Mm-mm, ta, ta. As always, feel free to practice this on your own. Stop the video if you need to. And make sure you understand this measure before moving ahead to the fourth measure. In this measure, we have uh, just moved around the eighth notes and the eighth rests and the quarter notes. Um, you can always kind of compare them. We have two eighth notes, two eighth rests, and in this measure, two quarter notes, but they're not tied together. So we're seeing the same things, just in different orders. The first eighth note is a down. Second eighth note is an up. First eighth rest is a down. Second eighth rest is an up. And then we have the quarter note. There's two eighth notes and a quarter note. So it gets a down and an up. If we were to perform this without a metronome, it would go like this. Ready, go. Ta, ta, mm, mm, ta. Keeping a steady beat with your finger. And we're clicking quarter notes here. Ready, go. Ta, ta, mm, mm, ta, ta. Once again, practice this on your own a bit if you need to. If you're ready to move on, we'll start putting this together a couple measures at a time. So we'll back it up and begin here. Ready, go. Mm-mm, ta, ta. Ta, ta, mm, mm, ta, ta. Always take the time to make sure you understand before adding difficulty. Beginning here now. Ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Mm, mm, ta, ta. Ta, ta, mm, mm, ta, ta. And we can back it up one more time and see if we can do the entire line. Ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Ta, 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 ta. Mm, mm, ta, ta. Ta, ta, mm, mm, ta, ta. If you're able to do that, go ahead and try on your instrument. If you're still having trouble, just come back to it tomorrow. It can take more than one practice session to figure out a difficult line of music. Uh, always don't forget that you can do one measure at a time and just practice the parts that are giving you trouble before you try to do the whole line all at once. Good job, and we'll see you next time.